Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube video. I forgot to film an intro, so I'm kind of filming it a little late, but I'm gonna be showing you guys my leg workout um, and some easy meal prep ideas. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, getting right into squats. I only did 25 on each side. I tried to really work on that depth. Um, here again, I'm just trying, you can see I'm tired, um, but I did three sets with 25s and then going forward, I tried one round with 45s. I just got these new shoes, um, they're the Adidas MDs and I could just feel how more stable they were to the ground. Uh, my last shoes needed some upgrading and it made the biggest difference for my squats. Like I actually felt planted here are 45s. Um, I'm not a huge weightlifter. I just like to push myself. This is hard for me. This isn't easy. Um, especially if I don't do squats that often with heavy weights. Next, I'm doing leg press. I don't go heavy on weight, but I just try to make sure that I'm getting that depth and making sure that I feel um, that in my legs. So I do three sets of these. This next workout, I'm doing straight leg RDLs. I've been seeing this a lot on TikTok, how everyone has been noticing huge growth in their glutes. So I've been trying to incorporate more of these, but again, just try and stay slow, close to your legs. Um, these work out your hamstrings and your glutes. I did three sets with 30 pounds. Okay, I have a love-hate relationship with uh, these split lunges. I used to do them with weight, but if I'm tired, I'm not going to add extra weight. I usually add dumbbells, but we were just feeling really tired. I did a squat challenge and my quads were still sore. This was the first day I was able to get some movement in and I really wanted to work out legs. So I did three sets on each leg. Just try to get stable. I broke that toe, <laughs> so I'm trying to like get comfortable in a way, but these are also really fun. Going into hamstring curls. These are a little different because they're seated but I do like these. I think I should have gone heavier on weight, but again, I didn't want to go too crazy. Um, and I did three sets of 10.
Say hi, Free. Say hello. Okay, so I'm gonna be making chicken fajitas. Um, I really don't know how people hold their cameras efficiently. Okay, so we have chicken breast and fajita mix, cream cheese, this. We're gonna use two cups of this. Peppers. Um, I'm just gonna be doing a step by step, so. So I started by cutting the chicken. I butterflied the chicken so it cooks more evenly. Um, this is something that I learned from my old roommate and it's genius. Whenever you have chicken breasts that are too thick and you don't wanna wait for them to cook that long. But I put oil in the pan, I browned them on each side. I saw this recipe on Pinterest and someone suggested that if you brown them first, it soaks up the juices more, which is what I'm trying to say here, but I could not get that word incorrectly. Next, you cut up some peppers. I wanted green ones, but they didn't have them at the grocer, so these ones still look gorgeous in the meal. You just slice those up, take out the pits, two giant bell peppers is just enough next you put everything in a bowl um, showing you the ingredients you'd use two cups of the salsa mix that all up spray your baking dish grab the browned chicken just kind of place it in the pan. doesn't have to be pretty they're all going to be covered anyways Okay, now I am just literally covering those bad boys up. Again, it's not the prettiest, but you just put that all over very evenly. I ha they were very saucy. Then I sprinkled cheese, as you see. I just eyeballed it and measured that. And then I tried to just place the peppers evenly throughout making it look pretty you have your dish pop it in the oven for 35 minutes it with rice nothing crazy chicken fajitas with rice i just evenly distributed them in my containers to get ready for the week nothing too exciting about this part but how cute are those little containers I didn't film me putting the chicken inside the containers, but I would suggest you cut them so it's easier to eat them. You don't have to bring extra silverware. If you stuck around to watch this whole video, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, turn on the notification button. Um, yeah, keep posting and I'll see you guys back.